Welcome to Tai Chi Chi and Aquatic Park today. I'm really happy you're all here and excited about teaching a class today. So we're going to start with triple burner either seated, which is what I recommend for the breath, or standing. Inhaling through the belly as you move up with the energy and come down through three centers of energy, which are your head, your heart and lungs, and your abdomen. And the energy actually is moving to the feet. This is the triple burner. And we're bringing energy to our bodies today. The way the sun shines through the sunflower. And uh, I want to star this painting today, which is back here. <laughs> A beautiful painting that was painted in Iowa. They have lots of sunflowers. I'm so happy to see you all. This is great. Usually do this about nine times. This is a Qigong warm up that we're doing. The triple burner, as I said, moves through three lines of energy. Do you think about it? It's your head where all your thoughts come from, and then your heart area where all your feelings come from, and then your abdomen, where all your breath starts in Qigong. Breathing through the nostrils, but exhaling through the central body. You can tuck the chin in a little bit here, the head in a little bit, and that will connect to your cervical spine so that your neck vertebrae are connecting all the way down to your Ming Men, which is at the tailbone area. And that area is going to breathe for you. So you could actually think of the breath as starting here in the abdomen, moving through with the nostrils open. And at some point, the tongue seems to want to connect to the upper palate. We call that the Qigong breath. And the jaw tends to drop a little, and maybe even with an inner smile, thinking about the fact that we're going to be doing the joy of movement, 19 movements in one pose once we get warmed up. Take a nice long exhale here, really feel it moving down. And then inhale through your nose, and you'll feel the breath also opening in the abdomen. Make that breath really long for yourself. And there's your exhale. And you can take it one more step by inhaling, making sure there's inhale here. To in take another inhale. And now count down 10 with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now breathe in. Did you feel that? You would have had to breathe at the belly. Okay, do it again without the sound. Feel the length of that exhale until you have no more left. And then feel the breath come in at the belly. Okay, that breath, when you learn to do this, the low breath like this, um, seated, Seated is a really good way to do this. So place your left hand on your belly and your right hand at your lower spine right here, right opposite the front hand. And now expand at the belly and now contract toward the Ming Men. And still use your inhale here, even though your mouth is slightly open. You'll probably feel that coming down through the throat also, with the throat open and the nostrils open. That is your Qigong breath. The tongue ends up right there, right there. 
Okay, next one. Let's do a couple more of these seated. This is starting up here. This is Buddha picks up the earth. So exhale down, inhale first, and then exhale down all the way through the central meridian and inhale up. And now push the world up into the sky with your exhale. And inhale again. I love that because thinking about the Taoists, who were the Qigong practitioners of old, they were totally connected to nature. So as an environmentalist, which most of us, most of us in California are, or hope to be, take this inhale in and then push the world up and hope it changes so that we don't get knocked with these storms, which are so exciting, but so horrible for so many people. Let's push the world up into the sky and say, stop the storms, but give us sunflowers <laughs> right there. Ah, Okay, let's stand up and shake it all out. It's a very important Qigong move is to start with your feet and then relax the body all the way up. So let's start down here and sink and rise a little bit with this. And let everything shake out now. Make a funny dance out of it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Woo! -hoo. Little craziness helps us all through life. All right, now you're going to inhale your elbows forward and up and back, making circles. And then take it the opposite direction. We just now we go back up, forward, and down. And notice how the chest caves in. Just three of those. Good. Now you're going to go back. And now how, notice how the shoulder blades fall down the back. You want that feeling with your circles to open the chest. Nice. Okay. Let's once again shake it all out because we don't want to tense anywhere today. We want to get all of that wonderful rain out of our worries for at least an hour and a half here. And now we're going to bring the arms out to the side and make beautiful circles from the shoulders all the way down to the ends of the fingers. And we're circling forward right now with the arms although the elbows are unlocked. And now back the opposite direction, kind of like you're floating on your back. Good, and then release it. Bring the elbows close to the body for circles forward, but without tightening into the body. And notice how the circles with the wrists involve muscles all the way up to your elbows. So even when you're doing what you think is a wrist circle, there's connection to these muscles. You could isolate it like that, depending on what your body can do. So anything that hurts, hey, don't do it or modify it, right? Yeah. Okay, now we're going to come down the body, bringing your hands to your hips here. Feeling where your hip bones are, because that's going to be important. This is your whole hip area here. So if you fold forward from your hips, you're going to fold forward, not from the waist, but from the hips. You want a flat back. Bring your feet out to the sides. This is rider on horse position. And ride a little bit here over the Mongolian desert. <laughs> and that's it. Horse is underneath, not a very big one, but it's a skinny horse. And now you're going to go forward, side, back, side, hip, hip circles.
and then take it the opposite direction. Whatever that is for you. Good, bring the knees together and the feet and folding forward from the hips with a flat back. Take hold of your knees and circling to your left. I'm mirroring you today, so just so you remember, it's your left. And now we're gonna circle towards your right, towards the sunflower. Okay, now we're going to straighten the legs a little bit without locking the knees and fold forward with a flat back and then release and round the back and come back up carefully. Okay, good. See if anything else I need to do. Um, I don't think so. Oh, I wanna pick up a feather and let it go. So let's pick up a feather with the thumb and the forefinger and let it go. And notice how your back heel will automatically want to lift. Let it go. It's like you're picking up something to show someone a feather. Hey, look at this feather. So long and so beautiful. Make it fun for yourself. And let it go. Wow. It falls down so slowly when I let it go. Good. All right. The owl is calling to me. So I'm going to open up my owl wings out here, flat palms facing forward. And I'm going to look out in the early morning to see what's over there. Inhale to the center and exhale to the other side. And keep doing that. And then I'm going to try twisting my spine a little bit, holding a pot of porridge. I'm a little bear. Inhale. I'm going to bend my knees to show it to you over here and release that back leg. Bending my knees a little bit here and over there. Now I'm going to be a mama bear and make it bigger, a bigger bowl. And I'm going to spinal twist over this direction and back to center on the inhale. And as I twist, I'm going to exhale. And now I think I'm okay with my spine. I've been really lengthening through it, thinking of the crown of my head as being lifted from the heavens by a string back there. And so I'm ready to go, more or less, but I wanna do this knocking at the gates because for all of us this energy that's now moving into the abdomen and the buttocks is waking up the outer skin area blood vessels and that chi we need that intrinsic energy we need to bring it everywhere then we take it up just underneath the breasts Then we take it up to the upper chest. And it's a gentle hitting of the body. My palms are not smashing very hard. <laughs> and then you can bring the energy up to this shoulder here by bringing, take, bring other um, arm underneath. And that allows you to massage up there. Self massage is really good. And you have to remember that that was your right elbow probably or your left. I'm using my right now. I used my left. And then massage on the other way by bringing the opposite elbow underneath to support that hand going back. And you can massage right along the shoulder blade there. Oh, it feels so good. Because <laughs> we always hold tension in these weird places. Okay, and then the shoulders themselves and down the arm inside the arm. All of this is Qigong. It's goodies for the body and the mind and the spirit.
Then we're going to tap down the insides of the legs and come back up the outsides of the legs. Watch how you fold forward and release. Good. And you know, if you if you can't go over that far, there's no there's no has to. You could go halfway. Just fold forward from the hips, go halfway, and just pat there. But if you can go down farther, you know, you'll get down towards your ankles, the backs of your legs, buttocks. And it's a feeling of accomplishment. <laughs> Okay, so I want to do the accordion. Bring your palms out like this. Inhaling to expand. Exhaling to contract. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right, we're going to do the accordion again or start it. Expand, contract. Yeah, I forgot to tell you, you should turn off your phone to do the practice because otherwise it's annoying. <laughs> And that's what I did. I had to answer the phone. I just tossed it away. Now, it's coming back to, to this practice here. Sorry to have caused interruption there. Inhale through the nostrils. Exhale back, feeling the whole, the whole rib cage sort of get really smaller and now it expands. It's a, it's a lateral expansion. You want that feeling. It's like a big, you've got a big beach ball. You're just, you are the beach ball. And let's finish this one. This is the accordion. And let's grounding that we have next. So we're gonna ground down, exhaling. Inhale towards the heart. Exhale down towards the belly, your low dantian or energy center. Inhale all the way up to the head and slowly release down. Do it again and pretend you're a sleepwalker. And really let the fingers and the hands release. And now inhale again. One more of those. And now grounded on globes of energy. Because everything is rounded. So that's why we say globes of energy. It's all rounded. And now I think we're ready to begin. Rocking motion. 19 movements in one pose. Tai Chi Cha. Notice how, starting with the feet, everything starts with the feet, actually. You're rocking back towards the heels and the toes rise. You're coming forward through the middle point, which is the bubbling spring or bubbling well, just behind the upper part of the foot. And there's something you can feel as you make this change from the front of the foot through that point towards the heels. And then the toes rise. And then begin to notice how the breathing that we started with today 
can affect that grounding as you inhale through the belly. That's your energy C that we talk about, not, not ocean, but the same thing, the C. And as you move through that point in the feet with the belly, it all connects. And notice how your inhale from the nostril is also part of that. The whole body, the whole body is beginning to get connected with the breath and the mind. It's a physical and mental and kind of a spiritual connection that we're making, right? Because our emotions are like giving in. Okay, I'm done. I just want to relax now. And notice how the palms, when they turn at the top and turn at the bottom, are making a figure eight. Well, isn't that the infinity symbol? Absolutely. So whether 9, 27, 36, or any multiple of 9 you do with rocking motion, it's definitely a Qigong-type warm-up for the body as it's connecting in every way, including through the mind. And at some point, you're done, <laughs> and you ground it through the earth, and you move to the next one, which is another grounding type thing. We're now going to ground in the feet, but move the energy towards the balls of the feet. Inhale. Triple burner. No, this is going to be bird flaps its wings. Inhale and release. You exhale automatically on that release, right? You can feel your body let go. That's the relaxation response. Now add a wrist circle forward. Two more cycles. A bird flaps its wings. And last one. Back to rest. Grounding. Shifting is really an important part of our practice. We're going to just do an open shift here side to side. So as you shift into this foot, this becomes the substantial leg and the other leg becomes ins insubstantial. And as you shift into this leg, this becomes substantial and this is insubstantial, meaning that you could now release that heel forward. Okay? All right. So we will start every practice today with at least connect, connecting to our lateral shift so that we can then release what's going to be the yin leg forward. Okay, ready, go. Shift it. That's your lateral shift. This is substantial. And now release the other leg forward. The back foot's already 45 degree angle, about like that. This foot's coming right out from the hip. Hip, knee, and ankle will need to stay together as you move around the platter.
Last one. We go to nine on each side. Now take your time to inhale and ground. Use that sleepwalking feeling of your exhale as you come into the next grounding, resting on globes of energy, and then switch which leg is the substantial leg here and release your right leg. I'm mirroring you. So this is my left, yes, but this is your right. Here we go. On your right side, around the platter in chest high water. Feel the front knee as it bends slightly and the back leg, which will at the same time straighten a bit. And then it bends in back and it straightens in front. This is the yin-yang aspects of our practice here. Now your right leg is taking the lead here. So there's your bending and the back leg was taking the connection of the exhale. One more inhale and then back to exhale. And then the energy of the exhale moves all the way down through that back foot. And around the platter comes to a graceful conclusion. Let's double ground it. And now shifting into that right leg for you. Release the left leg as you prepare for around the platter variation. Picking up a ball of energy by this left shoulder right opposite that front leg on the outside of it. You want to make sure that you ground everything into this leg and then ground everything finally into the back leg and slowly move through your weight shift forward and back, so that at one point when you get forward like this, you're going to release the back heel, but then you're going to glide back through the center. Last one on your left side. Draw the foot back on the inhale. Slowly ground it. We're between sides here. Now you're going to laterally shift very subtly towards your left foot and release the right. And notice how your back foot is already at an angle. Front foot's coming right out from that hip. Picking up your ball of energy on that side, at that shoulder, and then releasing it. Let's release it a little bit more center here so it's opposite the heart and lungs. As we slowly move through this territory of heavy air, resistance, and slowness, moving from the center of our bodies. Last one. Around the platter variation comes to a graceful conclusion. Sink it into the ground. Feel it in your feet. Our next move is going to be base drum. You'll shift over to this right leg to release the left. And then prepare your drum. The palms are facing each other as you make a big circle that moves the elbows back with the hips here. As if you yourself 
were this round drum. Two more. Last one. Draw the foot back in. Inhale. To release. Shift laterally towards your left to release the right. Base drum. Preparing to move, inhaling around the rim of the drum, exhaling back, feeling the elbows and the hips move together. You may start feeling that you have chi in your fingers because we're cultivating the intrinsic energy by our slowness and our breathing. And the synchronicity of all of these things coming together with the mind letting go. Two more. Last one. Inhale and slowly release your exhale. Preparing for our next companion moves of daughter on the mountaintop, daughter in the valley. Your left hand will be close to the heart as it is in all meditation practices. And this is a moving meditation. Feel the opening of the chest connecting here with the energy sea, belly breath, Nostril breath, working together. Making sure your jaw is released so that you have the Qigong breath. With the tongue resting on the upper palate, no tension in the face. A little inner smile by releasing these muscles right by the cheeks will help you find the joy that you need in this practice or that you find in this practice. Three more on this side. Daughter on the mountaintop. She's steadily climbing up. She's got one more to go. Good. Now that you've gotten to the top, We'll look over what's below and we'll switch to the other side and we'll climb the mountain on the right side. Daughter on the mountaintop. The other circles, circularity, very important part of Qigong. 
a circle that's cut in the middle as the left hand comes behind the right on both sides, but right through the heart area on the exhale. And one more on that right side. Inhale to release and ground. And double ground it, even though we're moving into the companion move of daughter in the valley. So we've all just climbed that mountain and now we're going to look at the top of it and we'll start again with your left leg to come through the valley, daughter in the valley and watch or feel your grounding as the front leg seems to bend a little bit, the back leg will straighten, but not lock and vice versa. Front leg straightens, back leg bends. It's all very subtle. So no big bending. Basically, the purpose is to move the chi through the body. Letting the breath and the blood work together to circulate all the way to your fingers and toes. Moving through over 210,000 cells. Hence the slowness. Last one, on your left, ground it, laterally shift towards the left to bring the right forward, start with your hands at the tops of the mountains to come down through the outside trails and into the valley. Nine times. Last one coming up. Inhale to ground it through the earth. Double ground it. Coming into mountain pose for a moment. Just breathe into the body. I'm, I'm feeling like I need to just uh, release. So we're gonna do that together. <laughs> a lot of slowness. Sometimes I need to just uh, let it go. Okay, good. Now we're ready for our next move. Carry the ball to the side. First you ground your feet are in your rider and horse or over the horse position picking up your ball of energy here right over here as you move this way releasing the heel out and now this is your yin leg this is yawn this is substantial insubstantial out there and we're going to change that back leg to become substantial and we keep switching this for three times with the ball and then we bring in the outside leg and sink with it. Wind up, release, 
And this is yin, so there's no real much weight in that yet, maybe 10%. And now we're going to shift that weight over there. Three times. Realizing that the third time we do this is the nine that we do. So much of this noble nine number exists in Tai Chi. Cha. Sink it through the earth, wind up, and go back the other way. Now send the energy over. Sink. Stay sinking. <laughs> Release this heel, and then you don't need to rise until you inhale. Rise to inhale. Sink. Stay sinking. It's not a deep sinking, but it's certainly there. Rise to inhale. Doesn't that feel good? I love that. And sink. And go back. Three times three. Watch your spine. I know I tend to start rounding my spine. We should really be long spine. Last one. And sink it through the earth. Beautiful. That was carry the ball to the side. And we are now at push, pull, and pulling in the energy. So we've moved almost to the rubber band where we'll be able to start the taffies. Good. Push, pull. Giving and receiving energy. Shifting, bringing the left foot forward, back foot at an angle, and moving the energy forward, bringing the fingertips up. Turn the palms, bring the energy back to the heart on the inhale. Giving and receiving energy, and you give it, but it comes back to you. Inhale. And feel the joy of this. It's so fun. Push pull. I know all of you are lifelong learners, and so I really feel like when we learn together like this, we're giving each other a lot. Energy's passing forward and back in a circle. It's beautiful. Notice how the wrists kind of give in here. They turn, but it's without any effort. The fingertips follow with them, as do the elbows and the hips. All the joints are giving in now. Bring the foot back in on your left side. Inhale to ground it through the earth and to shift laterally towards your left to release the right. Push, pull, inhale first, and exhale as you move forward. Now inhale back to the heart.
last one of giving and receiving or push, pull. Inhale the right leg back, sink it through the earth as you inhale first and then feel the sinking. Double ground it. With your inhale as the body lengthens and your exhale as the body releases and the knees release just a little bit to let go. And now we move into pulling in the energy from the farthest star in the universe. And this starts here with the palms up and you move outside here, outside your left foot and back in a circle, bringing in energy from the farthest star in the universe. And the body knows to go forward and back. Only the palms know to move, make this circle. So that's a separation technique right there. We're going to go forward and back. They're going to do their thing. Here we go. Pulling in the energy from the farthest star, shifting towards your right to bring the left forward. Palms are up. Bring in the energy through the fingertips as you inhale here. For that energy from the farthest star in your solar system. Take the energy back into your heart as your circle moves towards the sternum. Last one on your left. Draw the foot back in on your inhale. And feel the exhale down as if you were sleepwalking. And then shift over towards your left to bring the right heel forward. For pulling in the energy on your right side, begin the inhale here. And the exhale as you move the energy back to the back foot. Comes in through the fingers, but it, when it moves out, it goes to the toes back there, feel it. And when that happens, your toes rise in front. Synchronicity. The same times it hits the back, back toes, it hits the front toes and they move up. <laughs> so cool. Two more. Last one. Inhale and sink it through the earth. Double ground it. So those two, those are two are very special moves, I think, especially pulling in the energy from the farthest star. That's actually a visualization. So you can imagine yourself in some place where you saw the stars and felt their energy or the most recent rain or other event in San Francisco where so much is going on right now. 
drink a little water right now, okay? Because we've been, you need to hydrate with all that breathing stuff. <clears throat> okay, we're now beyond the rubber band here. This is pulling taffy, pulling taffy variation one anchor, wrist circles and perpetual motion, leading to working the pulley, light at the top of the head, light at the temple, passing clouds, six healing sounds, cosmic consciousness pose. And this is a lot of moves that really go pretty fast, but we shouldn't go too fast. Okay, this is going to be basic taffy. Your left hand moves under your right elbow. Your left heel moves out to the side. Yin, yan. The bent leg is yan. Switch so that the other leg becomes yan. The connection of all opposites in Tai Chi is what we're after, especially here in this slow practice of Qigong-based Tai Chi. You'll feel some heavy air that you're moving through with resistance as the palms cross each other here. One hand moves down to support the back yin leg, and the other hand moves up to support the connection to the heavens with the grounding leg. Always these opposites which attract each other. And we move through them with beautiful feeling of inner connection at the abdomen, at your energy sea and your feet. Feel the grounding. On your exhale here, wait a second here. Inhale and feel the grounding as those knees release. Yeah, now stay released. Pull the taffy and inhale. And that's sinking and rising stuff. Sink, pull, lengthen, sink. Basic taffy. Sticky stuff between the palms, or just a feeling of moving through heavy air with resistance here. Feel it in your core. And one more of basic taffy. Bring the foot in, extend the spine to inhale, exhale to ground. Our next move is anchor taffy. You'll be anchoring your right foot and bringing the right left foot forward. The left hand will be underneath with your taffy. Forward, weight shift, followed by side to side. Sinking. Pulling from the core here. Inhaling, releasing. Other foot comes forward and the back leg is now your left. And your right leg and your right hand underneath are leading you to the right. Left hand under. Left foot to the side. Right foot comes forward. Right hand's underneath. And right hand is the invite hand to your right. 
it's underneath. And we just keep doing this. <laughs> Anchor taffy. Last one. Rise, sink to ground. Let's double ground it. Circles, taffy is next. Sinking and rising. Winding up, left hand under, pulling the taffy. It always returns to basic somewhere in these taffies. Sink, rise, come to the balls of the feet, sink. Rise, sink, wind up, right hand under, pulling yourself, the palms apart. One will move down, the other will move up, and again. Yeah, that grounding is so subtle. That's why the, the standing for the inhale is so important because that's that makes the change right here. Feel that inhale with you lengthen and now feel the exhale as you release and ground. Yeah. All right, stay down. You do keep coming up and down, but it's just a very important point that affects the breathing and the grounding. And again. Rise on the inhale. Yeah. Cool. Now release. Good. You just sank and that helped the exhale. One more. And sink. Beautiful. All right, now we get to the juicy part. This is perpetual motion taffy with heel step. So when you ground over here on this side, then you lift this heel up and you drop down from the heel all the way to the toe. And you can feel the energy move there and then you go the opposite way, okay? Here we go. Heel step. It's like a never ending taffy. The hand that's underneath becomes the hand on top. And it connects Qigong wise to the heart protector move. So here's the exhale. Inhale, exhale. And you might want to release the back heel. I do because I don't want to torque my knee. So I always move consciously hip, knee, ankle together. And so I'm releasing back there. You don't have to do that, but do watch your legs. They need to, we need to keep our knees <laughs> forever. Perpetual motion taffy with heel step. 
there's no numbering here that I know of. So I like to keep going because it is satisfying to think of doing this forever. <laughs> and last one. Beautiful. Inhale it and sink it through the earth. The tappies have come to a graceful conclusion almost. Let's double ground it. And now we move to working the pulley. Your left foot will come forward. Your left hand is already ready to go. Your right hand will be underneath the hip bone and move back. It's a cross body move. Two more on this side. Last one. Good. Come back. Briefly ground it and prepare for the other side. Good. Now your left hand's underneath this hip bone. Your right hand's going to come out from here. Right foot will come forward. And allow yourself to swivel if you need to. I do all the time. You might want to do a less long weight shift forward and back. That makes it easier to swivel the feet here. <laughs> So I swivel on my front heel and I swivel on my back ball of the foot. And this is fun to do on Zoom because you're um, like touching someone else's shoulder and they're touching yours. There's a lot of energy in this practice. It's shared. It's really cool. Okay, let's do a couple more on that side so you can feel that. Last one. Nice. Okay. Draw the foot back in. We'll double ground this one for sure. Working the pulley. Our next set of moves will be light at the top of the head, light at the temple. The symphony moves more and more towards lento here. <laughs> and so bring your heels closer together, but not, not tight together. You want to be able to make sure that your knees will go down and, and not go beyond that big toe, but you have to find a way to do that so that you don't torque your knee. Uh, and they're, the knees are going to move out a little bit, okay? Light at the top of the head. This is your light, your light of energy up there, right over the crown of the head. Sink and rise it. All those thoughts you have of service to others or nice things you want to do for yourself, family, friends, community, it's all here. Let's do one more. Light at the top of the head. Now we're going to mix the energy of yin and yang there six to nine times. Hold the energy on the inhale. And sink and rise it and let it go. Three times.
and it moves out into the universe, gets grounded, and comes right back to your heart on the inhale with your left hand. And then moves down the central meridian on the exhale. Comes back up to your temples, light at the temple. Sinking and rising, feet in a V. Circling the energy of yin and yang, all the opposites, right at your temples. Hold the energy on your inhale and sink and rise it and let it go. Into the earth. Back to your heart. Into the earth. Our next move is joyous breath. Feet are still a little bit more apart here. It's a very yawn move. So let's exhale down. Everything's going to come out of your breath here. So inhale first and let it go. <laughs> Now inhale up to the balls of the feet and sink it into the earth four times. <laughs> and it's joyous breath. You can be very masculine with it. Make some noise. <laughs> it's considered the most yawn move we do. <laughs> Inhale slowly, release down slowly, sleepwalking move, really release those palms and feel your grounding. Resting on globes of energy, preparing for passing clouds. Your feet are now in a V, and they're going to stay on the earth. Unless you decide to make it bigger. In which case, you might need to release that back heel, so up to you. The directions are for this move to keep it simple, meditative, circular, connected to the earth, and to let the mirror hand pass without following it, which is a little bit hard for me to do. <laughs> I want to go, oh, that's what's over there, what's over here. And no, we're just focusing the brain. And slow it down. Last one. And our next moves are these. Six healing sounds. Ho for the heart. Who for the spleen. Tsu. For the liver, sh for the lungs, she for the triple heater, and chui for the kidneys. Your left hand, your left foot. Oh. Su. Sh. She, tree, okay. 
It's just aspirated. Five chewies. Turn the palms over, heel step. Mixing all the energy of yin and yang. All the opposites you brought together in this practice. And bringing your left heel to your right ankle bone, making a circle of energy, bringing your left hand closer to the heart, even out your elbows, looking over the window of eternity and through it. Fingertips are, fingers are open here. Interlocking the fingers, moving the energy over the head in gratitude for the beautiful aspect of the umbrella of Qigong and Tai Chi Chi. With gratitude to Justin Stone and to the history of Qigong 9,000 years and his teacher, Wen Shan Wong. And to all of us who do this beautiful practice, thank you in gratitude.